Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving an equation where a is a given number and we're going to be solving for x. It's a quartic equation, degree of 4. At this point you can go out and pause the video and try the problem yourself first. Okay, as I, as I said earlier, this is a quartic equation, degree 4. So is there a general formula? Yes, there is, but it's quite complicated. And this one even has a as a parameter, so it's going to make it even worse. So we're not going to just solve this using the method of uh, Cardano's. You know, they solved the cubic equations many years ago. And then you can just turn this into a cubic equation by finding it resolvent. But that's not what we're going to do. We're actually going to write it in an interesting way. So the way we're going to handle this equation is if you look at the problem carefully, a is a given number but a only appears in second power, the highest. So we're going to write this equation as a quadratic in a. And that's going to help us a lot because we can solve a quadratic equation uh, in any case, right? OK, so let's go ahead and do that. Rearrange the terms so that I'm going to start with this 2a squared. So that's going to be my first term. And then I'm going to be looking at terms that have a in them. So notice that these two terms have a in them. So if I factor out the a, I'll basically be getting negative times the quantity 3x squared plus 2x multiplied by a. That's going to take care of those two terms. And as my constants, and this may look a little weird, but my constants are going to be in terms of x because our quadratic is in a, therefore anything besides a is considered a constant. Okay? So once we write it as a quadratic in a, well, we can solve it, right? What, what are some of the methods that we can use? We can try to factor it, but this may or may not be very factorable. Uh, we can use the quadratic formula. We can do completing the square. Quadratic formula and completing the square are pretty much the same thing. So let's just go ahead and use the quadratic formula here because it's very straightforward. OK, so remember that this is a quadratic in A, not X, because X is fourth power and uh, we're trying to solve for A. OK, so let's go ahead and do that. If we use the quadratic formula, uh, A is going to equal negative B. In this case, it's going to be 3X squared plus 2X plus minus. And we have to consider both solutions. The square root of the discriminant. What is the discriminant? B squared minus 4AC. OK, so we're going to square the B or negative B, doesn't matter. Same thing. Minus 4 times A times C. C in this case is going to be X to the fourth plus X to the third, which is our constant. OK, and all of that is going to be divided by 2 times the coefficient of A squared, which is 4 in this case. OK, so far so good. We were able to write this as a quadratic in A first and then use the quadratic formula to solve for a. Now, we have a in terms of x, but things can be simplified here. Let's go ahead and expand this a little bit more. So this part is going to stay the same with the plus minus inside the radical. Let's see what we have. I'm going to square a plus b. So that's going to be 9x to the fourth plus 2ab. That's going to give me 12x cubed, right? and then plus 2x quantity squared, which is 4x squared. Here, 4 times 2 equals 8, so I'm going to go ahead and distribute the negative 8 there, and that's going to give me minus 8x to the fourth, minus 8x to the third. Okay? So that's going to be my expression under the radical, and I'm going to divide everything by 4. Okay? Now, what are we going to do next? We're going to simplify still inside the radical. So let's go ahead and do that. 3x squared plus 2x plus minus. OK, what do you have inside the radical? 9x to the fourth minus 8x to the fourth. That gives me x to the fourth power. I have 12x cubed minus 8x cubed, which is 4x cubed. And I have 4x squared. OK, that's a much nicer expression, obviously. And all of that is divided by 4. OK. OK. Now, what am I going to do next? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and write the expression under the radical in a nicer way. And for that purpose, I can actually go ahead and factor out 
x squared because that's going to help me factor this even more x squared plus 4x plus 4 and as you'll see in a little bit that's going to be a perfect square perfect okay now we have 3x squared plus 2x plus minus now x squared can be um you know taken out as x plus minus is going to take care of that and this is actually x squared plus 4x plus 4 this guy here is a perfect square which is x plus 2 quantity squared so its square root is going to be x plus 2 with the plus minus signs again okay so now i can write the expression inside the radical like this okay and all of that divided by 4. now at this point it might be a good idea to go ahead and split it up because of the plus minus sign situation let's go ahead and do that i always want to go with the positive one plus and i can just go ahead and uh, distribute the x over x plus 2 which is x squared plus 2x and all of that is divided by 4. okay let's go ahead and simplify this before we get into the second solution now i can write this as 4x squared plus 4x divided by 4 and as you know this is going to equal x squared plus x. So that's my first solution for A. You can call that A1 if you want. doesn't really matter. Same thing. Okay. Now, the other A is going to be coming from the minus sign. So let's go ahead and do that. 3x squared plus 2x minus x squared minus 2x divided by 4. And this should equal 2x squared. As you can see here, 2x is going to cancel out. Gives us a really nice solution. Easy x squared divided by 2. Okay, so those are my a values. But if you remember, our goal is to solve for x, right? That's the question. Okay, so we're supposed to solve for x, which means that from here we still need to solve. But how do you solve? It's a lot easier, obviously. In a way, we actually factored this quartic equation because if you get everything on the same side, you're going to know what I'm talking about. So if you consider the first solution, x squared plus x equals a, now you can go ahead and subtract a from both sides, and that's actually going to give you a quadratic equation this time in x, okay? And obviously, by using the quadratic formula, we can just go ahead and find the solutions here. Let's go ahead and write these solutions, and now we're going to do the second one. Now, as you know, uh, x's, x values are going to be from here, negative b, negative 1, plus minus the square root of b squared is 1 minus 4 times a times c but c is negative so it's just going to be a positive sign here and this is going to be my solutions okay you can call it x1 and x2 if you want doesn't really matter let's just call that x1 comma 2 and then for x3 x4 i'm going to be using the second equation i have x squared over 2 is equal to a but that's hey that's even easier right that's just uh, missing the x term. So solving these types of equations are fairly easy by square rooting both sides. So from here, we're going to be getting x equals plus minus the square root of 2a. And again, you can call these x3 and x4 if you want. So those are going to be my solutions, four solutions of the quartic equation in terms of a. Okay, thank you for watching. Please comment, subscribe. If you like the video, comment. If you don't like the video, comment. And see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.